but uh, it's to the top order batsmen to see them through for safety. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Hello and welcome. The crowds had already come in half an hour before start of play as Sri Lanka were chasing their first victory in test matches over England, considerably improving on their performances. Another good day on the field on the fourth day and they played themselves into a winning position. But Sri Lanka will have to stick to basics to see them through to safety and an eventual win. The England last pair having already defied the Sri Lankan attack to score 38 runs, a best for them in matches against Sri Lanka. It all points out to be that the Sri Lankan first test win over England will be delayed unless they get a quick breakthrough through their bowlers. Jayan and the Varnavira once more and the Sri Lankan top order will have to perform two expectations and capable of wins. Sri Lanka's Arjuna Ranthunga will be the toast of the Sri Lankan cricket supporters as he figured in the last two test match wins over the Indian and Pakistanis. Thus, the Sri Lanka win here will strengthen Asia's claim as a cricketing power. With the World Cup coming in, Sri Lanka's possible win here would be of strength to them. Enjoy the highlights. Sri Lanka expected to perform well and Emery taking strike from Asanka Gurusinghe. Emery has made his highest test score against Sri Lanka. And his ninth test half century coming at a crucial time against the Sri Lankans. Near miss, well bowled Asanka Gurusinghe. Oh, the bowler is very unlucky not to have got a touch. Oh, he beats him, it's all over. The first and last wickets in the England second innings going to the part nine Sri Lankan opening bowler. Well bowled. All out for 228. Embury batting for 150 minutes, facing up to 151 balls. Apart from Chris Lewis, Embury and Graham Hick, it was only Robin Smith who impressed. Varnavira once more Sri Lanka's top wicket taker. Sri Lanka needed 144 victory. A confident start to Mahanama and Sri Lanka. Chris Lewis to Mahanama, making that ball move. That's not the best of starts for Chandika Hathur Singer. Mahanama caught behind by Alex Stewart. So Sri Lanka is one down for eight. Mahanama out for six. A good breakthrough there for the highest wicket taker for England in the first innings. <laughs> Expected to be there but could not impress. Asanka Gurusinghe, the new batsman. So obviously, Atherton drops the catch at third slip. Getting a lot of lift, committing the batsman to a stroke. Hathru Singha, lucky to be there. Excellent crowd. Lewis makes his intentions very clear. Easily the most impressive of the England quick bowlers. Has so far had a good game with bat ball and on the field. Well played. Devon Malcolm, the fielder. Oh, neatly turned off. Over pitch delivery. That's his second boundary. On his home grounds, 
He knows exactly where to play. Very strong in that region. Now come over pitching and eased off on the offside to pick up his third boundary. Asanka Gurusinga, a fine stroke from him. Paul Jarvis. Good stroke and misfielded by Neil Fairbrother at power. Being a little bit hostile, but dropping it very short, and the batsman saw it. Arthur Singh not in control. Not a responsible stroke there from him, as Jarvis dropped it outside his off stump. Embury to Gursinga. Well bowled, surprised the batsman. That turned right through Hathuru Singha. He's batting there for a long time. And lunch taken with Sri Lanka 43 for one. Hathur Singh has been there for over 80 minutes. Guru Singh has been more adventurous. Only Lewis impressed, but uh, he did not bowl after five overs. And the crowd increased since lunch. More runs here for Gursinga as Jarvis is the fielder. Sri Lanka faced up to 16 overs before lunch. The pair have so far added 40 runs. Ah! Oh, played on. Emery takes his wicket. And a sad exit there for Asanka Gursinga. From the edge of the crease. And he played on to his thumbs as he tried to square cut. Two for 48. Faced up to 77 minutes of batting and consumed 46 balls, hit three boundaries. Much expected of the Sri Lankan vice captain, but he could not impress much. A good stroke from Chandika Hathur Singh, a wide of Chantanal, brought him his first boundary, and that was to be. He's only one. Came down the track. Played uppishly, but wide of the field. Aravinda was out in similar fashion in the first innings. Once more playing away from his body on the onside. Neatly turned off. It's a very fast outfield. That's Aravinder's first boundary. Phil Tufnell, the bowler. Oh, aim for a very big hit. And a confident appeal. But it came off the pad of Aravinda de Silva. Down the track a long way. Chris Lewis was not impressed. But they are looking to clear the mid-wicket boundary. A very risky stroke indeed. So in two deliveries, he is kept under pressure. Distinguished presence there. 
He hits it, but straight to Janavis at square leg. Aravinda is out for seven. Certainly the ball did not deserve a wicket. Could have been hit for a boundary. It's three for 61. Aravinda De Silva was at the wickets for 25 minutes. Arjun Ranatunga needs no more encouragement. And the Sri Lankan captain shouldering a lot of responsibility. Excellent catch there by Alex Stewart. And Tafnal takes a very important wicket as Sri Lanka lose their fourth wicket without any addition to the score. 61 for 4. Hathuri Singh was at the wicket for 115 minutes. Not quite over that turning delivery as it hit the rough patches outside the right-hander's leg stump. That was the fifth catch for the England captain behind the wickets. A very confident Hashan Tilakaratna almost nonchalantly walking in. And he was to provide another improved batting performance. Starting off with this one. Confident stroke through cover, bringing him his first boundary. It was to be one of his six boundaries and came up in great style. His placement square of the wicket was excellent. Jonathan tries a big one of Tafnal, although not succeeding. 50 of the innings coming in 98 minutes of batting. A close call for Arjun Ranatunga. He's clearly annoyed with himself. Sri Lanka cannot afford to lose another wicket at this stage. Memories of Australia's win at the back of his mind. But not Hashan Tilakaratna. A superb stroke through mid on. That's his second boundary. One batsman who has been showing tremendous amount of confidence and ability to cope up with the England bowling attack. He's developing into a classy batsman. That's a big hit and Ranatunga hit it quite well through mid wicket. Four runs. Tilakatna made room on that occasion. That's well struck once more. Oh, past the bowler. No stopping that one. Firm hit. Four runs. Well flighted. Coming down the track. Once more, excellent placement. The crowd had gathered to more than 8,000 midway through the afternoon. Hick, the bowler. Risky stroke, he survived it. Looking for a bit of variation, the England captain brought in Graham Hick. Well played. Fine stroke there by Arjun Ramthunga. That's his second boundary. It's particularly strong in that region. Embury, the bowler. Here's Hick to Tilkaratna. Robin Smith was in the way and finally getting fielded. Stroked it well. Good stroke. The 100 coming up of 160 minutes of batting in the 34th over. The third boundary for Arjun Ranatunga. Sri Lanka now confident. Hashan Tilakaratna. 
shows how to handle the spin and that little bit of distraction was quite uncalled for probably an over enthusiastic spectator well ball turned a long way john emery surprised silakaratna the 50 run partnership coming off 63 minutes of batting struck once more tilkatna in full cry actually he shouldered most of the responsibility in building up good partnership and a decisive one and took the pressure of arjun ranasunga sri lanka edging towards a historic win loud appeal but the umpire not impressed that shows the mood of the sri lankans 132 for 4 the second session bringing on 89 runs for the loss of 3 wickets Emery impressed much. The partnership at a very important time, and that was the fifth wicket to fall with just four runs needed for victory. Tafnal getting one to turn sharply on Ranatunga, and Mike getting taking a splendid left-handed catch. Good anticipation, and held on to it. It was a sad exit to Arjun Ranthunga who batted for 88 minutes and really steadied the innings. Pity he could not be there when it ended. The next batsman was Sanat Jayasurya and he was sure to make it a memorable one for himself. Tafnal bowls for him. Drop shot and he crashed that one over mid wicket for six. the crowd already invading the ground as sri lanka reached the target 10 minutes after the t interval with almost 44 overs remaining 145 for 5 splendid stroke there 142 for 5 so tilakaratna once more the top scorer hitting six boundaries he batted for 82 minutes and played a really champion champagne knock the two spinners did much of the bowling and reaped two wickets each lois taking the other that 75 run partnership really turning the match varnavira had match figures of 8 for 188 his test best analysis robin smith scored 163 runs including a century in the first innings and richly deserved the best batsman award and tilakaratna for the second time at the scc man of the match 129 runs including a top score of 93 in the first innings remained unbeaten throughout the match it was a decisive victory for sri lanka their first ever against england they made it all possible with that quick breakthrough in the morning setting themselves a target of 140 although the top order batsman made some mistakes the middle order certainly did not with arjun ranasunga having excellent support from man of the match hashan tilakaratna playing another responsible innings the target which at one stage was looking threatening became a reality quite easily so sri lanka can take proud of the note that they played excellent cricket all round and beat the englishman fair and square this should take them into the game at more to the final with the prospect of creating a whitewash for the englishman so sri lanka's prospects on this short tour against the englishman brings them out into the open as another asian cricketing power which is heralding asia's reemergence in the world cricket arena with the world cup coming up and the indian tours and the 
South African tours lined up for Sri Lanka in this year, Sri Lanka can take note that their team can and will beat their opposition on home soil. We hope you enjoyed the highlights and thank you very much for joining us.